Storm Chasers, y'all have been blowing me up about Rasby and Chris Stokes. And I feel like for whatever reason, the universe tends to bring this story. All right. <laughs> this subject, I should say, about Rasby and anybody that he has ever or is currently roasting, accusing, or just cussing out on the internet. The universe tends to bring this crap to my desk about every six to nine months. It's almost above me now because I don't know what else to say or how else to break the story down. So let's just get to it, all right? You know, Rasby is kind of giving juvenile in that photo for whatever reason. And um, Chris Stokes is giving um, what he normally gives, okay? So let's actually go to Rasby's Instagram. Let me pull that picture up, all right? And he changed his bio, okay? Rasby was over there with the bad boys in, in, in Texas. He didn't got a little piece of that Zeus check. Rasby said, I have failed my cousin, Chris Stokes, who gave me life. Please give me one last to make this right. I forgot what Rasby's bio used to say, but this is where it's at today, all right? And right away, when I saw this shit, the conspiracy said, the conspiracist in me wants to say it's MK Ultra. He's being threatened. Uh, it's the Jacoma Tati. It's this, it's that. But I think it's about time that we are honest with ourselves and, and Raz. And we, we finally need to just say that he is the problem. And I'm going to explain why in just a bit. So there's his Instagram bio right there. He's saying, hey, I failed my cousin Chris Stokes. Who gave me life? And I didn't I didn't know your cousin gave you life, Raz. I thought your parents gave you life. I thought God gave you life, the universe, whatever you worship. I thought it, they, them, he, she, we gave you life. I didn't know Chris Stokes gave you life, but nonetheless, let's move on. All right. Then when you hop into the uh the first comment, right? The main comments or whatever, I see Raz B posted and he said, I know this is a lot for everybody. But it's not about you. I made mistakes being misled. Once again, Rasby being very ambiguous, saying a whole bunch of nothing, and uh, being a problem. So here's the picture right here that Rasby and that Rasby posted of him and Chris Stokes. I can't talk today apparently for whatever reason. <laughs> um, and you know, you can look at that picture. You can tell it was oh, like years ago. I'm gonna say that was maybe what almost twenty something years ago. Uh, B2K days, but I just want you guys to not just look at the picture, but look at like the body language of the picture. Look at and really sit on this and see how you feel on the inside when you look at this. When I look at this picture right here, I don't just see two cousins. I don't just see a manager and his artists. I see a man who is in the dominant position, a man who's in control. A man who's hiding a lot behind those eyes. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but once your third eye get open, you really are truly able to look at someone's eyes and really see into their soul. It's the window to your soul. It's a very true thing when they say that. Okay. I'm also seeing from this picture. I'm gonna just blow it up. A scared little boy. Raz B looks to be what teenager, 17, 18. I'm not really sure, but young. And he looks like he is scared out of his mind. Scared, traumatized, abused, whatever you want to say, that's what I'm getting off of this photo. Now, you can look at it 30 different ways, I'm sure, but that's definitely what it's giving. So it's interesting to me that Raz B picked this photo of him and Chris to post when I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, nigga, you look traumatized as hell. But let's let's move along. Let's read the caption that actually went with it. So the caption said. I'm a made man. Here it goes. Truth, truth. Mature grown DeMario after countless counseling. I was abused by bro brother. I don't know who that is. And others. They all use and abuse me like a rag doll. By the time my cousin took custody of me, I was a mess. He was not my enemy. I focused all my pain frustration and anger built up from the past and took it out on my cousin. Now, Raz B, this ain't what you told us before. We got countless videos on the internet. I personally have broke it down umpteen times that Raz B, you said 
that your cousin allegedly penetrated you. You said that he then facilitated Marcus Houston to penetrate you. And Marcus Houston was not circumcised, got a mole on his left, left nut. He did you in a room with the teddy bear. He did you in the same room he did Quentin Tarver. May he rest in peace. This is what you have been telling us for the last two decades. So all this shit you talking about, this ain't what you told us before. But let's keep going. Maybe because B2K broke up and he was no longer in my life, Chris was never my pain. He was my protector, my peace, and my friend. People like Steve and the terrible things in Cleveland I told him about, Ricky forcing me to do things, those are things I should have dealt with, like all the monsters in my life that actually did things to me. And once again, it was clear to me that the boys of B2K were touched, abused, whatever word you want to use, by multiple people in the industry. And the truth of the matter is, in this entertainment industry, especially when you come in as a child, you are passed around from one gatekeeper to the next gatekeeper to the next to the next to the next. You can look at, and even today, you can look at what happened with Justin Bieber. You can look at what happened with Usher, Usher, uh, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake. The list goes on and on and on. And so this industry is pretty much based on passing kids around, doing what you will with them and breaking them down, working them like a horse, and then throwing them away when Hollywood is done with them and they can't make any more money either because... You know, they they didn't grow up to be cute. They don't want to sing and dance no more. They don't want to give up ass no more. Or they just lose their appeal. It happens every single day. It's been happening since the inception of Hollywood. It goes all the way back to the Shirley Temple days. This is this is nothing new. It's built on pedophilia. Period. That's just that's just what Hollywood's built up for. So um, but even in that statement, there's a lot of self-blaming, a lot of self-loathing, and it was not up to Raz B to protect himself as a child. It was up to his parents, the adults around him, to protect him and take care of him. But, of course, they did. And everybody was in it, of course, for money. We already know all that. Um, where was I at with this statement? Here we go. Chris was never that guy I made the world to think he was. I remember my cousin fought so hard to save me because I needed Chris. Okay, I don't know what that is. And then I attacked the only person who helped me. It's time to let the world know the truth. Love you, my cubs. Chris, I pray you continue to be my peace and protector. I miss you. P.S. Marcus Houston has always been my favorite artist. Immature all day. Right now, we're currently at 1,773 comments. And you guys have been blowing up my DMs. Storm, you got to talk about it. Storm, you got to talk about it. You know, uh, uh, what do you have to say about this? What's your thoughts? And my thoughts is I have nothing left to say about this shit. Marcus Houston has been dying on the hill and trying to convince the world that Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston abused him and tortured him and fucked him up to this day. And we've seen Chris try to come around B2K and then leave. They try to do stuff as a group and he quits. We've seen Raz B have visceral, physical, and emotional outbursts and breakdowns when Chris Stokes even comes in the room. The behavior that I see Raz B exhibiting now is nothing more than someone who is probably lonely in his real life, misses his family, wants some sort of relationship with his family. And he knows that the only way to do this is if he recounts or recants, I don't know which word is correct, all of the claims that he has made against Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes. Do I believe what Raz B is saying now? No. Do I believe what Raz B said in the past? Yes. Do I believe what Quentin Tarver had to say? Yes. Do I believe that the majority of the now men in this industry were touched and or tried or passed around either to men and or older women? Yes. 
which is a reason why the R&B stars that we love uh, 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 from the 90s, you can say really all the way up to the mid 2000s are screwed up. You can first mention Usher, who to this day has trouble maintaining relationships with women. And we see how uncomfortable he is whenever P. Diddy is around. We can see what ended up happening to Justin Bieber. They got tired of all the crap he went through in the industry. It is that he just said, fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and get married and just pretty much go off the map. Even though I personally heard behind the scenes, Justin Bieber got tired of drinking the blood. You you, you take with that what you will. That's an allegedly, and I'm going to leave that there. We then look at Chris Brown, who has not only inked his body from head to toe, has several tattoos on him that could be linked to certain organizations. Let's just say that. Has extreme anger issues, random ass outbursts, an alleged drug problem, and also can't maintain a relationship with a woman. Then you go to Omaria, who can't maintain a relationship with a woman. You look at Lil Fizz, and I mean, Y'all put Lil Fizz asshole all over Twitter looking like chewed up bubblegum, so you already know what it is with that. And I mean, who was Marcus Houston, who ended up running to becoming a Jehovah's Witness to try to wash off all the sins that he committed in this industry. So time and time again, we see what this industry has done to young boys and how they turn out, what it's done to the young girls and how they turn out. So why would I now believe that Chris Stokes did nothing that Rasby accused him of. That Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston is completely innocent. I absolutely do not believe that. I don't know if Rasby is experiencing some sort of or some offshoot version of Stockholm Syndrome. Or I don't know. I'm not a clinical therapist. I'm not a licensed therapist. I don't know. But what I do know is that this man is sick. This man is dealing with a lot of demons. By this man, I mean Raz. You can scroll through Raz B's Instagram. You can see him on any TV show or any interview he do. And you can clearly tell that this man has a lot of demons on him. And so do I really even care about what Raz B is talking about right now? Hell no, not really. But what I will say is just continue to pray for him. But unfortunately, it looks like Raz B is going to be another one of countless many that pretty much lost their soul and their innocence to this game, to the beast, whatever the beast, quote unquote, is. It is what it is. This is an industry and a game that centers around sacrificing. You're going to sacrifice something. Sometimes it's your body. Sometimes it's just your dignity, your humility, humility, humility. This could be, now I think about this, could be a humiliation ritual. It could be some mason shit. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But what I will say and what I can confidently say, in my honest opinion, Rasby is simply a sick man. And until he goes to counseling, a real counselor, a real therapist, and does extensive therapy to work to face and work through his traumas, clinical therapy, hypnotherapy, and hell, honestly, even massage and physical therapy to literally work the traumas physically through his body. Until he's able to process it, he is going to be running around, acting a clown on the internet, embarrassing himself, and making it hard for other victims every time he opens up his fucking mouth. What happened to you is not your fault. The circumstances that you were surrounded in were not your fault. But you now have the responsibility to heal yourself. And I'll leave it there. Let me know down below what you think about this story. Let me know if you want me to break down any of the uh, alleged traumas and abuse that the previous mentioned people in this video went through. Just let me know. Um, follow me everywhere. Just type in Storm I Wrote. I'm there. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.